Yeah. Uh, kind of depends on the settings that you um, turn on for each run through. Yeah. Well, and and some of them allow you to really tr uh, tweak it out so that way it's like, okay, I'm going to have this, 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 and, you know, mm -hmm. et cetera, which is really nice. Like, I guess, uh, you know, in a way, like uh, the No Rest of the Wicked game we were talking about earlier, uh, they're adding in some of that roguelike na nature into their, like, kind of end game crucible. It's which I was like, cool. Mechanic. I've seen yeah. a lot of uh, MMOs kind of add some element to it. Like Warframe was another one. I think Guild Wars 2 has something now. Mm. Or now they had an auction houses that wasn't roguelike. I was going to say, the game that I've been like super autistically infatuated with that I've never played yet is uh, Chained Together. Like those types of games oh, where it's like... you're that game looks like so much fun. <laughs> Dude, it looks like so much fun and it looks like that would be the type of game that would make me put holes in my wall for real. Because like, <laughs> not specifically because I'd be chained to another some other dumbass, but like like I there's that one and then the one where you're by yourself. That one's like don't look down or don't yeah. fall or whatever it's called. Those mm -hmm. that That's what that reminded me of when you were saying like you kind of start from a checkpoint or you start all the way over. It's like those games for me, like I love watching people play them on tiktok way, and... way more fun than that way more engaging i, I have yeah, to say i'm gonna sure. jump in it's like uh dante uh, took down his uh his background and uh to show his real life room and it's looking crisp i was like oh yeah maybe you hide the background you know because like you got junk on the, on the counter but your your background looks freaking sharp you got uh two guitars back there as well Oh yeah, did you got that? I haven't touched the electric one in a few months, been mostly yeah. playing the acoustic. I've got mine, and I haven't touched my my guitar. I maybe touch it once a year now, and uh, you know. I'm about to make me grab my ukulele. <laughs> we I'm just made a band. A little shred session here. <laughs> yeah, I have a. Yeah, I I have a. I have three instruments off camera, or four if you count my skin flute. <laughs> <laughs> that one's for solo pieces only, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah that one is my PR stick. There it is. There it is. <laughs> so Caleb, where can people find you, sir? Um, you can find me online at Funny CBD. I'm going to be uploading more content hopefully here soon. I am actually trying to figure out how I can upload. I, I need a new pseudonym for a gaming channel for me being also kind of a comic because I've got so many clips from this game, The Finals, that I want to put out, and I do think I'm going to start streaming it too. Oh, cool. uh, probably all oh, same yeah. names and whatnot. But um, yeah, I've got my open mics in Denton on Tuesdays. Um, I... I'm going to be doing that for the foreseeable future until I'm either no longer valuable to them or uh, I get assassinated myself, you know? <laughs> like, Are you we'll uh, getting paid for the one and done? I am. Yeah, All I am. Right, I get that's paid great. for that. I, I tricked Hula Hut into paying me since I worked there when I was hosting my own open mics it's, there. It's not a trick. You're bringing paying customers to their place well, then that's kind of my, that was kind of my problem why we ended that mic it, it got to a point where my and like i said i don't want to sound shitty about it but like what i was bringing to them was overvalued yeah for what they provided no, back you, and you, you make the yeah. right call moving on to someone that will actually pay you for the product you're bringing them which is a fun night of comedy and entertainment Right. yeah yeah true and and i've I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys i've been getting really good at it like our mics are I like to think some of the comics in DFW's actual favorites, despite it being in a weird position. Like, it's not in Dallas. It's not in, you know, it, it's, Dallas it is in so Denton. Big. Dallas, Dallas is, is big. A thousand suburbs. Well, but in, even then, we still get a lot of comics out. And the, the local Denton comics there that you guys probably have never heard of one time in your life, like the people are like, this is my first month or two or three mm -hmm. months. They've never even gone to Dallas to do comedy. Wow. They are eons beyond where the newer comics in Dallas are. And it's insane to how's see because... The, uh, how's the room bed now? Like audience... Oh, really? No, dude, we have regular non-comics that return yeah. every week. That's oh, wow, um, that's great. And Hell then yeah. outside that's of that... Want. And outside of that, the, I say the location's bad. And the location's bad for comics in Dallas. The location is great for college kids comics. in Denton. Yeah. No, no, right, there exactly. You so, but this is my value. The comics, they'll show up. <laughs> no, they, I know they'll show up, but that's my thing. My only thing is I have I have a way that I look about this as I'm hosting. Mm -hmm. There's people in this college town off of the square that will just drop in. It Even happens every week. Free and then exactly and they tend to stay for the entire show like they don't leave at like 10 or 10 like they're there until people are done and i love that oh, um so with that in mind i always get the comics out but i always focus on my facebook group marketing all the other marketing because i want non-comics to be there as well that adds a value to the comics that come out and then the comics that are regulars it only behooves me to try to make them as funny as possible because it's my mic and i want them to be successful and then i know if i'm spinning my wheels in my head trying to make them funnier it's kind of a sublet of 
writing you know it's yeah. me thinking it's me getting i'm punching them all up because i want my mics to be the best i'm just trying to be as selfless about it as possible bring the energy make these comics funny they help make me funny and then every tuesday night dude we have such a fun time and uh even even this last friday i did a show with noah and i got to run new material i've yeah. never done on a show and it did really well and i got a lot of comics that you know are truer veterans to the scene and they hadn't seen me in a long while go dude you've tightened up your performing is amazing you brought like and so like when people compliment me that i respect in this industry of you know transitioning from being an open mic comic to like you know maybe a feature somewhere or a regular mm -hmm. host and opener of a venue it's like that's a big deal you start getting feedback from people that their insight and their input it actually holds some value and some water not to say you know that we're taking comic advice with a grain of salt beyond you know but <clears throat> i love it dude it's so much fun we are achieving a lot we're growing together i'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get out there and then. that's uh that's the biggest thing to me man like if a crowd shows up and a crowd has a good time everyone's gonna get better at comedy that's how mm -hmm. you do it you don't yeah. get better at comedy dude. performing in front of a room full of 20 people this... looking at their phone wondering what their jokes are gonna be 